Welcome to Mora FC. It is worry. Just look at this beautiful sentence on top. This was a gift for a friend. You know, there are five ways. Five ways how to cut this sentence on top. Five ways, and I'm going to explain to you details how to cut this sentence on top. Five ways. I'm going to explain all these five ways to you to cut this top. Very, very simple and easy. You can see I have different fabric here. Here is what it is. As usual, you need your length measurement. You need your chest or your bust measurement. The length of your sleeve, your shoulder, your shoulder measurement, you know, it is what it is. So in this case, we're going to use much, we're going to concentrate much on your length and your bars divided. So we're going to divide your bars into four. You divide your bars into four, then you're going to add your sewing allowance to it. So after adding your sewing allowance to it, then you have to write it down somewhere. So that's what we need right now. And the second part is we're going to divide the top as you can see the top is divided into three so we're going to divide your length into three dividing your length into three there are through there are five ways on how to divide it first you can either make the top one at the next side you can make it small which is six let's say the length is 30 let's say the length is 20 so when divided into three you can decide to make the top one small, which is 6 inches, and the middle one 10 inches, and the bottom 14 inches. That's the first step. Second step, you can decide to divide it into three. And make it 10 inches, 10 inches, 10 inches. That means all has the same length. And the third part, you can decide to have the top and the bottom going to have the same measurement. And the middle is going to have the bigger measurement. Let's say the top is going to be 8 inches. And the middle one is going to be 14 inches. And the bottom one is going to be 8 inches. That will give you 30. And the fourth part is you can decide to make the top one bigger. And the middle one small. And the bottom one smaller. It can be 14 inches the top. And the 10 inches will be the middle. And the 6 inches will be at the bottom. Or you can decide to make... The top and the bottom have the same length and the middle one have small length. Let's say you can make it the top going to have 12 inches and the middle one going to have 6 inches and the bottom one going to have 12 inches. So you can see that the bottom and the top have the same length but the middle have small length. So this is what we're going to do. You can decide to choose any of it and you're going to have the same best results. When you are cutting the three steps, let's say you are making yours 10 inches by 10 inches by 10 inches, 10 inch, 10 inches length. Make sure you add your sewing allowance. You have to make it 11 inches, 11 inches, and the bottom you have to add your sewing allowance to it. You can see I'm checking my length, my bars divided by uh, four, and my sewing allowance I've added it to it. So coming to the neck, because I want to put a black at that side. So I'm going to open it this way. And I'm going to mark two and a half. That's two and a half from the line center that you can see. Then I'll come at this part. I'm going to measure seven inches or six and a half or eight inches from that side. You can mark six and a half, seven inches or eight inches or nine inches. Then you draw a straight line from that angle. Like I said, here is two and a half. And I'm going to draw a straight line that I'm going to cut it. Remember when you are cutting, you have to add your sewing allowance to it. Remember to add your sewing allowance to it. So like I said, when you are cut, let's say you want to make it 10 by inches, 10 inches, 10 inches, 10 inches. You make sure the first one you're going to cut 11 inches and the second one you're going to cut 11 inches 
and the third bottom one you remember you add half inches ply your sewing allowance the bottom half you're going to fold it remember that the bottom half you're going to fold the bottom of the top you have to add that extra allowance to it as well so in all all the three the bottom one will have to be bigger than The top you can divide it in any star that you want any star that you want you can make the top be six inches the middle 10 inches and the bottom 14 inches or you can decide to make it 10 inches 10 inches 10 inches that will give you 30 if the other length is 30 you know you divide it have to be equal you can also make it two be two have to be equal and how one have to be big or small so you're going to depend how you're going to choose it and you're going to give you the same best results you're going to give you beautiful results like the same thing what we are doing right now so let's come to the bottom side you can see that the bottom also is divided into three if you look at the design you can see that the bottom is divided into three so when you open your open it this way then you measure it so when you measure it i will see the way i've opened the fabric you just have to open that way and you measure it then you're going to divide it into three we're going to divide that one also in three remember when you divide it into three you have to add your sewing allowance to it you measure then you divide it into three because that place is a three different fabric all together and we have to you know, give it to that. It is what it is. But dealing with this bottom side, dealing with this bottom side, after cutting it into three, I'm dividing into three right now. As you can see, I've used my tape measure to divide it into three. So when I divide it into three, I have to add half inches for the joining. And also I need to add an extra for the folding of the bottom. You need to add extra for the folding of the bottom. So I have eight by twelve. The twelve is the length. I'm working in twenty-two. Twenty-two. If twenty-two divided by three is going to give you eight. So you can see that. So you need to cut and add your sewing allowance to it. You make sure you add your sewing allowance to it. This is not a pattern that we want to cut on a piece of paper and before that we join it. You are cutting on the main fabric. So you need to be very, very careful when dealing with that. And also the bottom side, you can decide to cut it straight away. You can decide to cut it straight or you can decide to curve it. But if you want to curve it, if you look at this design that you are seeing right now, the middle one, they have curved it. But the side by side, they have not curved that one. It's straight. It's only the middle one that they have curved. So if you want to curve it that way, you need to add some extra allowance to it. You can see that some is bigger than the other one. You can see I've, I've not cut the same. They don't have the same measurement. They don't have the same measurement. Because I want to show you something. I want to cut a little bit off. But if you want to cut, you don't have to cut the same measurement. You need to add an extra to it. So when I do it this way, when I check, it's going to be more than 22. It's going to be more than 22. So you can decide to make it straight away this way. You can decide to make it straight. There's no problem with that. Or you decide to curve it. So look at the way I'm going to curve it. You need to trim some part off and curve it. You can use your ruler and, you know, then you made that curve so this part is going to depend on how you choose to do it so just have to curve this part and just trim it so it's only the middle and the joining part that has been curved but the side by side scene there's no curve on that there's no curve on the side by side 
seen is only the middle one that there's a curve there so if you want to curve you have to make note on that one that's why i have placed it this way for you to see the way i'm curving everything to see that this is the place that i have curved i have not curved at the end of it you know the side by side i have not curved it's only the joining part that i have curved i hope you understand what i mean hi so this is how it's going to be i will join this part then you join this part you join this part then you join this part let's do that one and when you come to this part also There's a way of joining this black with the yellow. I'm going to give you the tip of that. There's a way of joining it. You can't just join it anyway. There's a way how to join it. So uh, let's go and let me show you how to, you know, join that one. So I'm joining the small one, the bottom one. You can see I'm just joining it. Oh boy. It is what it is. Mora FC. As you can see. Let me join this part for you. Just look something very closely. It's very important. When you want to join it, you get the same results. It's gonna give you the same results. You see, it have, it have to be this way. It have to be this way. It have to be straight away like that. So you have to put it this way. Make sure they are straight. Make sure they are straight. I say make sure they are straight. Then you put it. After you put the foot on it, then you start to, you know, sew. It will give you the best result. It is what it is. You can see we have not cut the shoulder slope yet. We have not cut the shoulder slope yet. No, don't rush in cutting the shoulder slope. Don't rush in cutting the neck first. No. Mora FC Here so we're gonna join this one so you can see I'm matching the middle try to follow you can see I can see how beautiful it is so as you can see so just have to iron look at the way I'm ironing just look have you seen it have to face at the top then you iron it that is how you're supposed to iron it don't just iron it anyhow you know all of it you can see it's facing down it have to face at the top let it face that way Then you iron it. This is how all of it is supposed to be. Please do and subscribe, like and share, and comment and click on notification bell. It is what it is. What I have seen. You know, when you are cutting the fabric and uh, it's pieces, you gotta talk, you gotta talk, you gotta talk, talk, talk. <laughs> Oh, I get in tired. It is what it is. So you're gonna do the same thing to this part. You just have to let it face at the top. Then you iron it. You 
you can see it's all facing top it is what it is So after that, we're gonna fold it to two. So it's gonna bring you back this way. Like now you want to cut your sinet and tie. Have you seen? So you're gonna bring you back. Like it's now that you wanna cut your sinet and tie. But remember, you fold your fabric into two and uh, blah, blah, blah. You divide the bars into two, four. You cut the shoulder slope, you add the back to it. You know, I have a tutorial in the description box below. A link in the description box below. Do it and check it out. To learn how to cut the sinet and top as well as spin nothing is hidden nothing is hiding it is what it is so i'm checking you know my bars you divided by four then you're gonna add your sewing allowance to it i'm just trimming some part off you remember the bottom i added some extra extra allowance to that part so for the curve checking my length oh, i have actually the length i was looking for so I'm just trimming some part off, you know. What I have seen, it is what it is. So you can see how beautiful it is, you know. But there is something also in cutting the sleeve, in cutting the sleeve, there is something that I want to teach you. So you good that you stay tuned to the end of the tutorial. When cutting the sleeve, there is something that you need to know. Otherwise, you're gonna, you're gonna be a mistake. You're gonna be a mistake. So I'm cutting my shoulder slope, my neck as usual, nine, uh, two and a half. Average neck, as average neck. You know. If the person have like 18, 19, you can make it three. You know, so you can see the back. I have it. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description box. But do and check it out to cut the sinet and top. And you wanna cut a neck different style. You know, have it also tutorial on how to cut the neck perfectly to fix any size of the neck. So your shoulder, you have divided by two. You come on armhole. You divide your shoulder by two. Your shoulder, shoulder. You divide it by two. You're gonna use that the same thing for your armhole. So you're gonna have something like this, and the armhole front side you're gonna come in half inch. Just like that. It's all explained in the tutorial. The description about blood cut the center top is all explained there. You can check it out and learn how to cut. If you know all this kind of stuff too, you just have to we keep moving. I might be going fast here, you know. So let's come to the sleeve, how to cut the sleeve. Like I said, there was something that I need to teach you when cutting the sleeve. So I'm trying to match it, you know, this is blue black. So I'm trying to make the blue black come to the other side of the sleeve. And uh, one color would also go with the same measurement you can see. This is how I want it to be blue here and the blue black will be at the sleeve and the middle one will be at the tip of it. That is how I want to arrange it. If you don't want, you can do it this way also. You know, you can change it. But I want to, you know, the blue, black and the sleeve have to be the same side. And the one also with the sleeve have to be the same side as well. So I'm going to cut the sleeve. Like I said, there's something that I want to teach you. Otherwise, you're going to get the mistake. So it's good to stay tuned. I have a tutorial how to cut the sleeve as well as explain the measurements. The calculation is all there. I'm gonna leave in the link in the screen box below. Do one and check it out. You can make it four and a half or fourth. Then you just have to cut. You can just make a curve like that. 
it's a simple way curve normal curve i don't do curve like that i just did the curve for you to show you how it is so the opening of the sleeve then you just have to measure also you divide that one into two then add your sewing allowance to it and this one is four inches it's four inches by the length of the opening sleeve by the length of the opening sleeve so i'm going to fold half inch you need to cut two i'm going to fold half inch at one side i'm going to do the same thing here So this is a sleeve, the short sleeve. This is how it's going to be. We're going to fold it this way. It's going to be like this at the bottom. So we're going to start it from the wrong side. You're going to join it from the wrong side, not on the right side. From the wrong side, join it this way. Then you flip it to the right side. You fold it into two and let it fall at the tip of it to cover the thread. That was this thread that you sew. If you erase what it is. So look something here i'm just going to open this one to show you something for you to get it so this is how the sleeve is going to be this one have to be at this side the blue black have to be at this side so i'm going to mark the front of it you know the front part you know when you join your sleeve like this how it's going to be you're going to see that the front i'm going to do the same thing to the other side like Let's say you have joined the sleeve, how the sleeve is going to be. So I'm going to mark here so that I will know the front of the sleeve and the back of the sleeve. So there's a difference. Otherwise, if I join the two of them together, they're going to be a mistake. So I'm going to join the mark that I mark. You can see, I'm going to mark them together like that. Then I know that both of them, they are the front side. They are not the same thing. So if you didn't check this one and you just do this way and you just cut the half inch or the one eight one eight inch that we normally cut at the front of the sleeve and just add it and just cut you're gonna make a mistake you're gonna make a huge mistake you're gonna see that one will be okay and the one it have to turn back to join the back scene it is what it is so thank you for joining thank you for watching your time i will appreciate your time god bless you all it is what it is more ifc don't forget the neck, we want to pop the neck also, you know, this is the yoke of the back, it's white, you know, and I'm going to pop the neck, this is how to pop, and I have a link in the description box below, do well and check out how to pop a neck, if you know how to pop a neck, 